Okay, welcome back. Um, in the first video, uh, we discussed uh, the three important parts. In fact, the two important parts, uh, which were you know input and the information processing. Input were uh, you know the marketing and the non-marketing stimuli and. Uh, uh, when the consumer and you know, the individual is being exposed to the both marketing and non-marketing stimuli then uh, it, it it creates you know the attention and when it, it creates attention consumer go for that particular advertisement again and again in order to understand the brand in order to match up the brand with the need of the particular customers and when customer accepts that then they then and the, the main challenges for a marketer is how to retain that particular brand in the mind of the customer. So, uh, so here the main question is not to you know the purchase only a particular product, rather to repurchase the product again and again in the form of the reinforcement. So, uh, so, so you know the memory is the mind is everything everything is a root cause of the memory the mind the way we react the way we do everything the way we make choices we make purchase decision we make you know the uh, evaluation of alternatives even whatever we do the, the the root cause is the root you know the epicenter is our memory so in in this video i'm going to tell you uh, the role of memory and uh, and uh, the role of the memory and decision making process and the variables which uh, you know the effect the each and every stages of the decision making process so basically your decision making process starts with the need generation also known as the problem recognition right so once the need is being recognized then people start searching the information related to that particular you know the brand and once uh, they got some clue about you know the information uh, from the various cues um, then then the consumers go for the you know the alternative evaluations because you know in this competitive world a marketer you know the marketing is uh, full of competitors marketer is full of competitors and uh, you know each and every one is trying to give you the best so uh, so consumer starts evaluating the alternatives and uh, finally um, uh, they make uh, you know the choice among choice of the the best amongst the best right and once they they start uh, giving preference to you know uh, particular one or two brand and the other way down when the consumer has developed you know the perceptual bias towards a particular brand then the consumer go for the purchase and uh, after purchasing the product the you know the uh, the the time comes when a uh, marketer uh, is interested to know the outcomes and the outcome comes in the form of the satisfaction or dissatisfaction if the product is you know um, um, according to the need of the customer if the product is providing you know, the value system so naturally the you know the people will consumer will satisfy satisfied and um, if the the particular brand particular product uh, you know that doesn't match with the need of the customer then customer will be dissatisfied so basically whenever a consumer go through all the five stages uh, you know one one thing i want to make it very clear uh, in, in how what shape model i discussed about the three different levels of decision making extensive uh, you know the limited and the routinized basically when you, when any consumer is at the extensive stage only then consumer go through the all the you know uh, the five stages uh, starting from the problem recognition ends with the purchase otherwise when the consumer is at the limited or the you know or the routinized level there, there is no necessity that the consumer will have to follow you know all the stages uh, so uh, so uh, when consumer is at the extensive stage only then consumer will follow all the five stages 
and here we are believing that a consumer uh, you know uh, is first time going to purchase a particular brand and is not aware about the brand so uh, so consumer uh, is going through all the stages